While CES 2022 wasn't quite the full-blown in-person event organizers were hoping for, the massive electronic show in Las Vegas still managed to deliver a stellar lineup of exciting tech. The Tech Radar team spent all week voting and debating on our favorite launches from CES 2022, and in this video we're going to run through just 5 of those picks, but if you want to see the full list of 20, be sure to head to techradar.com. First up, it's Samsung's The Freestyle, a portable projector that will allow us to take the home cinema experience on the go. As portable projectors go, the Freestyle ticks plenty of boxes. The whole device weighs less than two pounds and has an auto leveling feature that adjusts the stand so you won't struggle to set up your cinema wherever you are. On top of that, this all-in-one device comes with a built-in 360 degree sound system. So theoretically, there's no need to carry an extra sound system with you. CES has seen some crazy car concepts in its time, and this year the BMW iX Flow concept stole the show, with tech that you'd expect to see in a James Bond movie. That's right, BMW has made a color-changing car that actually works in real life. The customized, fully electric BMW iX has body panels made from e-ink displays in a system it's calling iX Flow. And if those displays sound familiar to you, that's because they are the same technology you'll find in the screen of a Kindle e-reader. The modified BMW iX can switch from white to black at the press of a button. Sign us up, we are sold. Not to be left out, Sony came to CES 2022 with a pretty big surprise too. The Japanese tech giant officially confirmed its next generation of virtual reality headsets is on the way. And it's somewhat predictably called the PlayStation VR 2. The headset will debut alongside the company's new PlayStation VR 2 Sense controller, which is clearly inspired by the likes of Oculus Touch. Much like the PS5's excellent DualSense controller, Sony's new VR 2 Sense controller will also boast haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Sony also announced Horizon Call of the Mountain, a VR spin-off of its extremely popular PlayStation exclusive Horizon series, which is being developed by Guerrilla Games and Fire Sprite. Next up, it's the Vivo V23 series. Pitched perfectly at selfie-taken lovers, the Vivo V23 and V23 Pro have two front-facing cameras with a 50-megapixel main camera and an 8-megapixel ultra-wide lens for group selfies. The 50-megapixel main camera is the highest resolution that we've seen on a front-facing camera, and that's not all. It's also possible to record 4K video on the front-facing camera, with a mode that means all videos can automatically be beautified much like how portrait mode spruces things up with still images. On the rear of the V23 Pro, you'll find a 108 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel macro lens. The phone has a 6.56 inch full HD 90 hz display and a MediaTek 1200 chipset, which offers 5G capability. Vivo also has the V23, which offers a similar experience to the V23 Pro, but a little lower in spec. It still has the same two front-facing selfie cameras, but the rear camera drops down to a still fairly reliable 64 megapixel sensor. It's also a touch smaller with a 6.44 inch screen and uses a slower chipset in the form of the MediaTek 920. And finally, we couldn't leave you without chatting about the adorable Amagami Ham Ham. When you're feeling stressed out, do you sometimes absentmindedly nibble on your finger? It helps a little, right? Well, now imagine that you had a little robot that could do that for you. That's the simple and slightly strange concept behind UKI Engineering's Amogami Ham Ham Robot Bear. Stick your finger in its tiny mouth and it will nibble on your digit. The character design is based on Liv Hart's Nemu Nemu series, which somewhat unsurprisingly deals with a white bear who creates a healing study school to help humans relax and heal. Amugami, which in Japanese means soft biting, doesn't just automatically chomp down on your finger when you place one in its soft fabric mouth. The robot algorithm provides for two dozen different nibbling styles. There's no description on these different modes, but all appear to be gentle. Like I said at the start, there's plenty more amazing, innovative, and weird tech on show at CES 2022. So for all the latest coverage, remember to head over to techradar.com.